right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So at least on paper, even match up here. A lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Assassin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy. Oh! Right punches there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Circling away towards the left now. Big punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! Oh, big left. Engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch there. Oh, Superman punch! Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. He loaded up in that right hand too. to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! He's out! Oh! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin.
10. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done.